it's Leighton J. Cougar Wolf Daddy and I'm in my kitchen once again. Right now I'm watching my TV. I got the Fido channel on how to pick a puppy. Speaking of puppies, about 10 years ago, well actually 9 and 10 years ago, I hand raised about 13 wolf puppies. And it's their birthday in just a couple days. So I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to make my kids uh, birthday cakes today. So. I think it's appropriate for me to don the Wolf Daddy apron, thanks to a Facebook friend and fan who got me this cool apron. So today I'm going to make um, my kids some pup cakes and some birthday cake and just goof off in the kitchen for a little bit. I've preheated my oven. What my hope is is that I'm gonna make a three layer cake, three, three, three layer cakes, potentially, and a bunch of pup cakes. So I've got these great little uh, pup cake pans, uh, hearts, because you know I love my kids, and then these little mini bunt cake uh, pans, which I can then put goodies inside, you know, maybe like a piece of sausage or something, I'll, I'll figure that out. And, uh, and then I have my regular uh, mini, mini uh, cupcake pan, it's only, I think there's uh, 13 of the kids that have their birthdays, but, you know, can I go to the sanctuary and give a bunch of kids their birthday stuff without giving everybody something? So I'm going to make a whole bunch of little mini cupcakes for everybody's birthday. Because, you know, wolves in North America are typically born in late April and during the month of May, and sometimes, depending on the location, as late as maybe the first or second week of June. So pretty much at the sanctuary, it's everybody's birthday. But of course, close to my heart are the kids that I hand raised. And uh, so I'll be handing those out tomorrow. All right, so I have the oven preheating and uh, I wanna show you what ingredients I'll be using. Now, because Wolf Daddy has to be uh, gluten-free, my babies are gluten-free too. So I do have a gluten-free recipe that I'm using. I really like to reduce grains in any kind of food, but when we're doing pastries, we gotta use grains, but we'll stay gluten-free. We've got the organic pasture-raised eggs. I'm gonna put some turmeric in there because that's an anti-inflammatory, always good for the kids. Grass-fed butter, of course, the typical baking soda and uh, baking powder, organic half and half. I'm gonna go with some gluten-free baking flour. I'm gonna put some flaxseed in the baking mix, and I'm gonna goof off a little bit with my favorite uh, baking and pancake mix there. I've got all my ingredients together. I'm gonna to mix them up, and let's do some bacon. Oh, bacon! Speaking of, <laughs> I got some. Oh, I said that and every little head in this house is perked up. Bacon? <laughs> so I'm starting out by melting some of that butter and also including some organic coconut oil to that butter that I'm melting. So I've got my dry ingredients all put together. I've got my wet ingredients all put together. The dry ingredients, of course, is the, the flour, the flax, the baking powder, and the turmeric. Now this is essentially a white cake recipe, but it will be yellow because of the turmeric. So then I've got my eggs, my organic half and half, my vanilla, and my melted butter and milk, melted coconut oil in the other bowl and I'm preparing to mix them together. As I mentioned earlier, I have bacon. Dogs love bacon and bacon is going in the bag. So all I'm gonna do is take some my scissors to it and cut these bacons into bits. Next I'm just gonna grease the pans for the pup cakes. I'm gonna use some of that coconut oil that I had melted in the pan earlier for the batter. So I'm just going to dab a little batter into these little hearts. Go ahead and put some in the bunt cakes. And then we're just going to slide these into the oven. And in about 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to have some pup cakes and some little bunt cakes. It's going to be fun. Well, good morning. I was up late last night baking and I'm donning the apron one more time this morning while I'm cooking my own breakfast right here. 
And I gotta frost these cakes. Now I've got one cake already done. It's completed. It's beautiful three-layer cake. Uh, it's all frosted and ready to go. I gotta stir up my hash browns I'm making me this morning. Uh, I gotta get all these little cakes frosted before I get over to the sanctuary. First thing, we have a busy day today. We've actually got uh, field trips coming from a couple different schools. We've got some out-of-town guests coming from New York with a, to have a couple meetings and uh, all the other activities that go on at the sanctuary. So now I am going to show you um, a little bit what I did to make that three-layer cake and uh, each one will be a little bit different. I've got different types of frostings that we're going to use. Now, on this cake here, it's, it's a, a cream cheese frosting. Now, I also want to encourage you, when you're getting your ingredients for your kids' cakes, always go as natural as possible. Do your best to get uh, you know, high-quality foods, not r super processed foods or you know, fake cream cheese and things like that. You really want your kids to be healthy just like you want you to be healthy. But before I get to frosting cakes, I gotta eat my breakfast. So that's what's next on my agenda, and then we'll get right to uh, putting this layer cake together. Okay, breakfast is over. I gotta get busy. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I gotta go and get to the sanctuary. So, likely while you were sleeping, I was still cooking. And what I did, uh, what I didn't show you, is I had made these great little round cakes. Now, I made just like you'd make a pancake. I don't like to get too fussy when I'm making uh, my canine cake. So basically, I just made the same cake batter and I put it in the frying pan on a very low heat with the lid on it and I made these nice thick cakes for my layer cake. All right, let's get to building and frosting our next three layer cake. I'm going to uh, frost this next cake with cream cheese so so right now it I've got my cream cheese I'm working on melting it down a little bit so it's softer and more uh, easy to use that's what we're looking for I want to be able to really smooth it out over the, the cakes all right that is perfect now I'm gonna get my cakes together here and Place my first one down. Then I'm going to add a little peanut butter. Just coat this baby. Okay, the other thing I did behind your back there is I, I, uh, I cracked a dozen eggs into a mixing bowl, added some heavy whipping cream, some grated cheese, and I cut up a bunch of pepperoni into little pieces and put it all in the blender and blended it up, poured it into a pan, and I made three round omelets, the same size as the cakes. So now I'm gonna take this omelet and I'm gonna place it on top of our peanut butter mixture there. Set that right on top of there. Mm-hmm. And I add another thin layer of peanut butter. And then our next round delicious cake goes right there. Look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, we're going to put that right here. Now, I just, uh, the other cake that I just made, I had white frosting. I think I'm going to color this one up a little bit. Um, I like green. The wolves like green. Green's the color of the forest. So let's make green forest cake. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and Get this baby frosted. The sides are often the trickiest part. We want to really fill it in. And as you can see, I just put it on a paper plate upside down. That makes it easy for me. And I can just turn that paper plate I really want to just get it in there, fill in the gaps, make it look pretty. What the heck? Yes, it's going to be heinously and horribly and fiercely devoured within seconds. But let's make it pretty to start with. Now, I also want to stress that uh, each animal is not 
getting this whole cake. Yeah, they could eat it, but um, now I'm going to split this cake in four pieces. So I'll go to four different kids, uh, or maybe even three. Now I'm just going to uh, make up some bacon sprinkles from the bacon I uh, I didn't eat this morning from my breakfast. It should also add for a really fun scent and uh, encourage the kids to to really devour this baby. Plus it just looks cute. I think I'll make like happy face on it or something. And there we go. <laughs> okay, well, I only had two packages of cream cheese. So now I'm gonna experiment with another idea I have for some frosting that if we're lucky, it'll work out. <clears throat> So what I've done is I've uh, made some potatoes. I also have some rice from another meal, oh, that I cooked for the dogs, and I didn't use all that rice, so I'm gonna put the potatoes and the rice and some butter in the blender together, and I'm gonna see what we come up with. Okay, well, I put in my rice and my potatoes and some food coloring. I'm not satisfied, so I'm gonna add some gelatin. Two packets of Knox gelatin. Let's see if that helps thicken it up to a consistency that's gonna work for us. All right, well that seemed to have worked. Got a nice, thick frosting. Earlier I cut up some fresh pineapple, and now I'm just gonna put little bits inside my little bundt cakes. Now, pineapple, of course, is very healthy. It's high in bromelain, which is great for the stomach and the intestine, the digestive system. So I'm putting that inside these little bundt cakes, and then I'm gonna add a little peanut butter on top. Top it off with gluten-free smoked sausage. There we go. Look at that, look it, look it. So it's my baby's birthday. We're in the uh, Wolf Kitchen, and uh, uh, I bake these awesome pastries. But I'm, I, if any wolf can eat this whole thing, but there's no way I'm gonna let him do that. So we're gonna slice it in four pieces. So I'll have four, I'll have eight, I'll have 12. That's the majority of my babies. And then I've got these other little things for singing dogs and for everybody else, because it's pretty much everybody's birthday. So here we go, I'm slicing this one up. This one I really want for Stormy, for whatever reason. They're all about the same. Oh, that's a hunk of cake. So it isn't technically the dingo's birthday today, but you know, Wolf Daddy's got a bake for everybody. And, and how can we deny these faces? So, so they're gonna get the, the bunt cake that has a pineapple core, peanut butter plug, and a gluten-free sausage on top. <laughs> oh, babies. Oh, mama. Here comes the daddy. Come on, babies. At your feet, sweet. At your feet. Come on. Yeah. Quick, get it. Don't, don't. Oh, you lose. Happy birthday, even if it's not. There you go.
<laughs> so Romeo's is a little mini bunt cake with the uh, pineapple in the hole with a peanut butter plug and a gluten-free smoked sausage on top. Of course he put it peanut butter side down so now it's peanut butter with some dirt but it's still a good dessert. You don't have to. You just need to eat it. Yeah. Where's the, where's the bowl? Puppies! Dad is here! Happy birthday, babies. Happy birthday, babies. Come on. Oh, princess. Don't put this on the house, princess. Oh, look. One for you, sir. One for you, ma'am. Get it. Hurry up. Okay. <laughs> I always thought of Stormy while I was baking this one, so Stormy's gonna get the first big cake. Hold on, Richard, so I don't got it. Tip it off. See if I can get on these sticky layers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Three layers. See, cake, omelet, cake, cake, omelet, cake. Isn't that cool? All right. Something around there. I don't know what. Look at this cake. Okay. Don't hurt the daddy's hand. Set it down gently. Let me set it down, honey. Hold on, son. <laughs> we almost did it. <clears throat> Look at that, it's gone, man. You be gentle. Be a teeny bit gentle, like. I'm gonna put it right here, son. I think they're suspicious. Like, there's pills in there, right? <laughs> no, there's no pills. He likes the pepperoni. So Forrest, I'm going to feed in the sub enclosure because he's so food aggressive. Then I'm going to go in and give uh, Thunder his piece. So I'll put Forrest's right here. And I know it won't last long. Go for it, dude. Whoa! Oh, oh. That wasn't the plan! <laughs> that wasn't the plan! Here's the plan! <laughs> Here's done. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where'd it go? I didn't even get the video, it went so fast. <laughs> Holy smokes.